Welcome to the Report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about the Invisible Enemy agenda. Yes, tonight on the Report from Tiger Mountain. Stick around. The Invisible Enemies are everywhere. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Report from Tiger Mountain. Yes, I thought I'd talk about the kind of uh, agendas that we've been put under in uh, the recent 18 months. Um, what I call the Invisible Enemy Agendas. Um, probably the first Invisible Enemy Agenda, uh, I mean, of recent times, was the War on Terror. Um, you know, obviously it was kicked off by the uh, Operation 9-11, which obviously I don't believe the uh, mainstream story on that. I believe that the Deep State was definitely involved in 9-11, so there was some element of um, collaboration going on between the um, Al-Qaeda uh, terrorists who were probably working, or someone like Osama bin Laden, I think, was a, probably a CIA asset, most likely, but I'm not sure, but that would be my guess. And so that would, I think, what was going on there. And... Uh, you know, obviously when we talk about the invisible enemy agendas too, it doesn't mean there's not an aspect of it that is real. I mean, obviously there is a real aspect to uh, Muslim terrorism. Uh, um, uh, but uh, the whole point, though, of an invisible enemy agenda is that you never really know where it is. You never really know, for example, where in the Muslim community the, the Muslim terrorism uh, actually is. And um, you know, the idea is just to make you suspicious of everybody who is, is, who is Muslim. And obviously that's been the agenda, and that's basically been the Israeli agenda um, of the last 20 years. Um, Israel's always had a problem with the Muslim community, apropos of where it's positioned in the world, and obviously it's surrounded by um, Muslim dictatorships that hate it. Um, so I think what they wanted to do there was to inflict that kind of hatred of uh, of Muslims onto the Western world in general. I think that was the whole purpose of 9-11. But um, the other uh, um, invisible enemy agenda is climate change. Um, uh, and obviously climate change is, is uh, in my view, um, it's probably happening, but it's probably happening at a very much slower rate. Like, you know, over 100 years or 150 years, this could maybe be a problem. But obviously we are slowly moving naturally, I think, towards green energy anyway. And obviously technology has been increasing. Uh, I think, though, what the elite is doing is they're, they're making out to people like Greta Thunberg and others like that. that oh, you know, it's, it's got to happen in the next 10 or 20 years or else the planet is doomed. And we're all going to die in 10 years. The, the sea will flood and, you know, like... Florida will be underwater. It's all a bunch of rubbish. Um, you know, uh, the whole point of that, of course, is to um, milk this situation, to once again um, uh, rob people um, blind, and to uh, use the, at the moment, um, the technology of renewable energy, which is not up to the standard of the traditional sources of energy that we've been using. Coal is obviously the most obvious one. So I think that's what's going on there with the, um, the climate change agenda. And again, it's a kind of invisible enemy. And again, it's something that they say rely on the science. But of of course, this is the scientists who've been, who've been paid off. And of course, the last great uh, invisible enemy agenda is um, the COVID one, obviously. Um, again, it's not like COVID doesn't exist. COVID is real. Um, but like, it, it's nowhere near as big a threat as they are making out. They are using this agenda, again, to ruin us economically um, and to drive us towards a kind of global communism uh, and a global kind of um, totalitarian state that, we're, that they wish us to live under. So I think that's what's been going on. And all these agendas kind of coalesce, really. Um, the, the war on terror, the climate change agenda, and the COVID agenda. And uh, you see them all kind of coming together. And you see them all have been orchestrated um, by the global elites. And, um, you know, I just wanted everyone to think about that. And to, um, you know, I mean, it's not like this is the first time in history, these, these, these kind of invisible uh, enemy agendas. It's, it's something that's, you know, it's people like CIA and intelligence agencies around the world have spoken about as, as something that they use. And, um, you know, they've often used it on other countries, but it's something that they're clearly using it on the people of the Western world. So that's all I wanted to say, ladies and gentlemen. I wanted you to have a think about, you know, the sky is falling. That's the climate change agenda. Oh, my God, the virus is everywhere. That's the COVID agenda. And where are the Muslims hiding? That's the war on terror. And it's all invisible enemy uh, agendas, ladies and gentlemen. And it's all bullshit.